Okay, time to have a look at how to do calculations involving strong acids and bases. So, um, first of all, overview of what I plan to do with, with this is go through calculations for the first four of these, and the rest of these um, you can do on your own. I'll put up an answer key for these at the end. So you can either pause the video now, work these out, and then watch the explanation and see the answers at the end, or you can watch the explanation and then pause it, and then after you finish working it out, see how your answers agree with what I've put up for the key. Now, to begin with, there's a couple of key assumptions here that are very important to emphasize. One is that a strong acid or a strong base dissociate completely. Dissociates completely. What that means is 100% of this turns into ions. That means 100% of some acid, HA, becomes H plus ions and A minus ions. That's the basic assumption. That means that if you see, for example, this first question here, where it says the concentration of hydrochloric acid is 4.39 times 10 to the negative fourth molar, that means concentration of hydrogen ion is the same. 4.39 times 10 to the negative fourth molar. We assume 100% of this dissociates, so if there's one hydrogen per for, in, for the formula unit, that means the number of hydrogens is equal to the number of formula units, which means the number of hydrogens is equal to the number of hydrochloric acids. So concentration of hydrochloric acid is equal to concentration of hydrogen for a strong acid. So if I want to find the pH, all I need to do is remember that all important formula for pH, because after all, it's what this is asking. We're going to find pH for all of these. Negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. All right, so here we go. Negative log of this. 4.39 times 10 to the negative fourth equals, uh, let's see, what does it come out to? Do it on here just for the sake of clarity. Negative log 4.39 times 10 to the negative fourth and uh, let's see, we started with three sig figs. We didn't do any subtraction or anything, so we'll just uh, use say number sig figs, three sig figs, 3.36. Okay, so 3.36 is the pH of that solution of hydrochloric acid. Uh, moving on to the next one. There's two hydrogens for every molecule. So wait, what's the concentration of hydrogen? Well, H2SO4 is a strong acid. If it loses a hydrogen, it becomes HSO4 plus H+. Plus. And this is a weak acid, so we're going to ignore any hydrogens released by this and pay only attention to the first hydrogen to come off, which means we're still going to assume hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the concentration of the acid. In this case, it's 5.1 times 10 to the negative ninth molar, which means we can just take negative log of 5.1 times 10 to the negative ninth, and that gives the pH, which is equal to, well, let's have a look on the calculator. Negative log of 5.1 times 10 to the power of negative nine, pH of 8.3. Right, two sig figs, we'll say two sig figs here also. Okay, now. Okay, we got concentration, but that's not an acid. So, don't make the mistake of just negative log of this and think you're done. That only works for acids. Clearly this is an acid because the formula starts with H. Clearly this is a strong acid, the formula starts with H. This is not a strong acid formula. It does not start with H, and it contains OH. Hydroxide is an indicator of a strong base. So, 
This splits into sodium ions and hydroxide ions. And if this concentration is this molarity, then the concentration of sodium ion is the same molarity, and the concentration of hydroxide ion is the same molarity. However, if this is hydroxide, then the negative log of this will give not pH, but pOH. So negative log of 1.973 times 10 to the negative fourth equals pOH, because this is from hydroxide ion. And uh, let's see what that comes out to. Negative log 1.973 times 10 to the negative fourth. Is that correct? Yeah. 3.7, uh, what, 4, 6, six sure. Um, 3.705. Okay, but it's not asking for pOH, it's asking for the pH. So I want to find the pH for this sodium hydroxide solution. Well, fortunately, I know, and hopefully you do too, that pH plus pOH equals 14. That means if I want to find pH, just subtract 14, pOH from both sides, pH equals 14 minus pOH. So that's what we'll do. So 14 minus pOH equals pH. Thus, 14 minus 3.705 equals the pH, which is... 10.925, or whoops, wrote that wrong, 10.295. Now wait, what happened with the with this significant figures thing going on here? There's four significant figures in the original number, and now there's five significant figures in the answer. Well, it comes out to the significant figure rounding rules depend on what you did last. And here, the last thing I did was subtract. And subtraction rules are that I have to count decimal places, and the one with the least decimal places is it. Now, this is assumed to have infinite decimal places. And this goes out to the three decimal places past the decimal, so three decimal places out, so the thousands place. This also goes out to the thousands place. Therefore, my answer needs to go out to the thousandths place. So that's why. If the concentration went out to the thousandths place, so is my final answer. So the pH is 10.295. Okay, now, this one, it gets a little trickier. Still the same as before. If I take negative log of this, I'm going to get hydroxide ion concentration, I'm going to take the pOH and convert it to pH. But, notice this is a little different. That is when it dissociates in water, you're going to get one calcium ion, and you're also going to get two hydroxides. That means your hydroxide concentration is twice as much as this. This gives you the concentration of the molecule, but your hydroxide is twice as much. There's two hydroxides in every molecule. So really, concentration of hydroxide is 5.53 times 10 to the negative 8 times 2. So 2 times 5.53 times 10 to the negative 8 is that. I'll change that over to scientific notation to see what that really is. Alright, 1.106 times 10 to the negative 7th. 0.106 times 10 to the negative 7th molar hydroxide. Now, the negative log of that will give me the pOH. So negative log of 1.106 times 10 to the negative 7th equals pOH, which is equal to, oh, let's see what we got. This is what it's looking like on the calculator. 
6.9 6 it's around for sig figs here at this point we're still counting sig figs notice addition or subtraction has happened so we'll call it 3 sig figs we'll call it 6.96 so the pOH is 6.96 and then pH equals 14 minus 6.96 which means the pH is equal to 6.96. Let's see, show you what that looks like here. That's what it looks like in the calculator. 14 minus 6.96 is 7.04. And uh, this went out to the hundredths place, therefore this goes out to the hundredths place, and also this went out to the hundredths place. So hundredths place it is. All right, and that takes care of that little bit. Okay, so just be careful as you do these. Make sure that if there's more than one hydroxide, you take that into account in your calculations, adjust the concentration. In this case, there's two hydroxides times the concentration by two. In any case where there's, it's a base, you need to realize you're calculating pOH, so make sure you convert your pOH to pH. In the cases where it's an acid, all the strong acids we give you are one hydrogen and you don't need to adjust the concentrations of it. So, that being said, here are the others. Let's see if they'll all fit on camera with this level of zoom. Yes, they will. So there's the others not yet covered. Now is a good time to pause this video and work these out. And in a moment, I will put up the answer key. Here it is, uh, zoomed way in, so let's start by zooming out so you can see the entire answer key. Now I realize depending on the size of video you're seeing, you may not be able to read all that. So I'm going to zoom in now on the individual questions. And you can go back and forth and see how you, how you do compared to these. Um, let's zoom this in. Oops, wrong direction, okay. Okay, there's questions number one, two, and three. We've got to do that to make it less distracting. One, two, and three. Four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine. And then that brings number 10 into view. All right, let's see. Anything of these worth pointing out? Um, for this one, of course, I made sure to, and this one also, I made sure to times the concentration by two of hydroxide because there's two hydroxides in the formula. And then took that new concentration and did the calculations with that. Negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration gives the pOH. And then from the pOH, you can get the pH, which has two decimal places out, goes to 100 place because the original number went to 100 place. This number goes to the tenths place because the original number went to the tenths place. Same for all these other ones where subtraction was the last step. They basically said this goes out to the thousands place, this goes out to the thousands place. Unlike these other ones where there was no subtraction involved, um, three sig figs, three sig figs, or here, three significant figures leads to three significant figures. All right, zoom this back out again. And there is, once again, your overall view of the thing. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Happy studies.